Okay, we're live. Hi, everybody. Glenn Smith with the York County Bar Foundation. I hope everybody out there is doing their job for Give Local. Give, give, give. So many wonderful organizations out there to be giving good money to to support good causes. And what a better cause than the York County Bar Foundation. So I'm here today with, with two people that have benefited from people that donate just like you. I have Isaac Presidum and Christy Page. Welcome, guys. They are our interns for this year for the Chuck Patterson Diversity Scholarship, which is funded by donators just like you. So guys, we've got, let's see here, let's start off with Isaac. Isaac, uh, you are Hi. going to be joining us uh, here in York County with the Public Defender's Office, right? Yep, that's the plan. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about you. Where are you coming from? So I'm originally from the UK, uh, born and raised, um, but then I did some of my undergraduate studies in the US, part of my undergrad was in Minnesota, um, and I took a criminology class while I was there, and that's sort of what got me into the law, got the sort of things rolling in my head about this is an avenue that I want to go down. Excellent. So how, how is it that you found York? How, how did you manage to get here? Yeah, so I, I was looking around at what sort of work I want to do in the future uh, and public defense is what sort of stuck out to me. So I'll be honest, I was just networking, 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 looking around, seeing what there was available. York is very close to us at Dickinson Law, just down the road. Well. I, I agree, I guess, <laughs> but, um, and I reached out to some people at the PD's office, I spoke with them, they let me know about this wonderful scholarship, and uh, that's what sort of brought me here in the end. Excellent, wonderful. Well, Christy, how about you? Now, you're at Dickinson as well, right? Yes, I am. And both of you guys are wrapping up your second year in law school with one to go, yeah. light at the end of the tunnel, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, then the bar. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yes, then the bar. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be no problem. So now you are uh, joining us here in York as well, but you're on the other side of the table. You're in the district attorney's office, right? Yes, that's so correct. So tell us a little bit about you. So my name is Christy. I am originally from South Florida. I went to college in Miami. Um, and I was actually a music major, which is, people always find that kind of funny that I went from music to law, but I think it you know makes sense in a strange way. And then I took two years off because I graduated um, right into COVID, I was a 2020 grad, oh, yeah. and oh yeah, <laughs> so there was a lot of working from home and kind of career flexibility, um, and then I always intended to attend law school, I took my LSAT before COVID, luckily, um, and then Penn State Dickinson Law, I came to visit, and I just knew that it was the right place for me, I felt very at home. Wonderful, so how did you wind up here in New York? So... I was looking for um, externships for the spring through Penn State Dickinson Law's career portal. And I know and I knew that I wanted to do face-to-face -face in court work. Being in court is really important. I commend attorneys who can sit behind a desk and draft documents all day. It's just not, it's just not me. And so the pace of working in criminal law, especially as a prosecutor, appealed to me. Um, and I found the York County District Attorney's Office, and I came and interviewed, and I just I loved everyone that I met, and so I actually have been with the DA's office here in New York since January. Excellent. So you know, both you guys, I, I find very fortunate to be here in New York, both for York as well as for the offices that you guys are with, because they're both outstanding offices, the DA's office, the Public Defender's Office. So you're going to have some wonderful and are having some wonderful experiences. So. I'm always curious about how you got into law. There's always a story there as, as to what kind of compelled you to go down the path of becoming a lawyer. So Christy, what about you? So toward the end of my first year of college, I was a music education major. And I was actually a passenger in a car accident. Um, and I ended up being a personal injury plaintiff against a large corporation's insurance company. Um, and that litigation went on for four to five years. And I realized that one, the career path that I was pursuing, which was actually being an orchestral conductor, um, might not work for me because of my physical limitations due to the accident. And I was inspired by my attorneys. They were there for me in so many more ways than just a legal sense. Um, they were incredible and seeing them fight for me and advocate for me, was it was just, it was very inspiring. And so I realized that you know that's what I want to do in some capacity. I want to I want to do that for someone else because it changed my life. Excellent, wonderful. 
Now, for the music, what what uh, what were you doing with music? So I entered as a classical trombonist. Okay. Um, and then I ended up switching because I was still in the music school. I switched to music business with a business law minor. I switched to voice. So I'm uh, primarily now a singer songwriter. Um, I sing a lot of country music. All right. So what's interesting to me about that is you went from performing in one genre to now performing in a different genre. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. So not a lot of stage fright, I would suspect. No. <laughs> good. All right. Excellent. That's good. 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 All right, Isaac, how about you? Yeah. So like I mentioned, I took a criminology class during undergrad. And one thing my professor used to do was sort of a comparative analysis between crime in the U.S. and other countries. And in particular, he'd use the U.K. as a uh, as an example, seeing how things are different, sort of how policing is different, how the law is different. And that's what really got me interested. I started looking into the law a little bit more. I think for me personally, I was more of a researcher and writer and the law sort of fit with that. But there was, and I, but I knew there was loads of avenues to go down mm -hmm. with the law. So I went back to the UK, I finished my undergrad, I then did a master's in law for a year. And then I spent a couple of years working um, in medical malpractice uh, litigation on the plaintiff's side. Um, and that got me just a lot of experience and it just reaffirmed that I wanted to do the, uh, do something in the legal field. Great, and I think you had shared with me earlier that you have uh, some uh, background in psychology. As yeah, well. so my undergrad was originally in psychology. Yeah, which is a, a good skill set to have when it, when it comes to law. Just yeah. not dealing with clients <laughs> or you know the other side, but uh, dealing with the, the lawyers as well. <laughs> so to know how people think. <laughs> very much so. Great. So you're here with us at the York County Bar Foundation. Today's Give Local. If you haven't given, give. If you've given already, give. You kind of get what we're talking about here, right? Because you guys are the ones that support people like these. You know, our interns for this year for the Chuck Patterson Diversity Scholarship, it doesn't happen without people donating money. And today is the day to do it. Now, any day is a good day to do it. Just today's a really good day to do it. So we encourage you to go to the Buy Local website, find the York County Bar Foundation, and make sure you donate that money. So guys, you're receiving the Internship Scholarship Award for this year. So tell us, what does it mean to you to be able to experience something like this? Um, I'm a little lost for words. It's, it's life-changing. Um, I so I've been with the York County DA since January and when you work for a district attorney's office or PD's office it's as an intern you're typically not paid um, but the experience is worth it and you know we do get credit but I am um, I'm actually a mom I have a 10 month old son and my fiance is also a law student and to be able to do what I love and work in the field that I'm passionate about and still have a way to support my family in this time, it's life-changing. Um, it's really, really, really special. And Isaac, for yourself, about being selected to be a Chuck Patterson Scholarship Award recipient. I feel re really blessed and honored, especially what this scholarship means for diverse individuals like ourselves. I, I think I've seen working in Cumberland County Public Defenders how important representation matters, especially in the courtroom. We see that on both sides of, you know, litigation with, there's a disproportionate effect on people of color, other minorities, low income people, and having a scholarship like this, which supports people from backgrounds like that to get into the legal field, to do work and get paid and compensated for it is really, really important. I, I could not disagree with anything either of you had to say. Absolutely. So I look forward to seeing both of you around, particularly just not in the courtroom, but being involved with the York County Bar Association, because I think getting to know some of the lawyers around here, there's some wonderful people, it's a wonderful organization, and a lot of good things to do. So congratulations on your scholarship awards. That's wonderful. So again, Glenn Smith, York County Bar Foundation, buy local, excuse me, not buy local, give local, well, you want to buy local too, but give local. York County Bar Foundation, again, Chuck Patterson Scholarship. Make sure you donate to that because it's guys like this that are benefiting from it and they're getting to have experiences that they're not normally going to be able to get, but for other than that. So go ahead and out there and hit that to give.
there's a 